Hey guys, it's Chantel Ray from the Waste Away podcast through intermittent fasting. And today I'm so excited. We are talking with Warren Phillips and we are going to be talking about detox, cleansing. He is an expert on this. And we are going to learn why detoxification is more important than nutrition for your weight loss, anti-aging, disease reversal, your gut my microbiome, and so much more. And we know that fasting is cleansing and detoxifying, but today we're going even deeper. And we've got some shocking topics that you are going to be like, whoa, when we talk about them, but we are majorly talking about cleansing your cells and how to detoxify your body like you never have before. And I do have a special deal for you at the end, so you don't want to miss it. So make sure you listen all the way to the end. And now let me introduce you to Warren Phillips. Welcome. Awesome, Chantel. Honored and privileged to be here speaking with you today, to speak with your audience. Love intermittent fasting. I intermittent fast all the time. Um, we've been actually coaching and training doctors for over 20 years on utilizing intermittent fasting, partial fasting, four-day water fast. So fasting is something that I love. Um, but what we found in, in through all of this is that detoxification is critical to intermittent fasting and hormone sensitivity and so much more. In fact, the shocking nature of this topic is why detoxification, I believe, and I think you're going to understand and believe by the end of this through science, not through opinion, not through fact or what I say, but through actual literature, the detoxification for many of us is more important than nutrition for your gut microbiome. We know how important that is. Weight loss. We all love to, to lose weight and trim down and feel, have more energy, man, even to uh, anti-age and disease reversal. Detoxification is critical for all these areas. We're going to break it down today, whether you're listening to this on a podcast or you're watching this on YouTube. This is going to be a very powerful topic. And for me, it's near and dear to my heart and I'm honored. And let me get a little bit into my story. We didn't get into that yet, but I'll, I'll tell you why this is so important to me. I mean, awesome. I lost my life and you're going to find out about it. Uh, and it was not cool, Chantel. And those listening, I was 25 years old. Uh, I had to sell everything and move back into my parents' house. And I know you're into real estate. Luckily, I subdivided the lot and was able to put $60,000 in cash in that. Uh, money is what I lived on um, for about five years because I just couldn't function as a human. So I literally lost my life. And here I am, all-American athlete, Warren Phillips, the prestigious pen relays. I you know, set um, records at my school. I still hold um, records and all this stuff, right? Super healthy. Straight-A student, 4.0 in graduate school, went on to reduce, recycle, reuse, and clean up the environment. I loved doing these things. But in that transition... I started cleaning up hazardous waste for a living and I got very, very ill. I'm a published scientist. I studied the binding of heavy metals in the environment and I wanted to clean up the world to protect people, to clean the environment, to save animals. All the good reasons we do things, you can't destroy the, the environment if you wanna live there and, in, and enjoy it in the coming years. So here I am cleaning up something called mercuric oxide. And um, you might not be able to see this if you're not watching on a video, but grains used to be coated in the 80s. So not that long ago. I mean, some of the best music came out in the 80s, didn't it? I, I would say so. I yeah, my, for sure. My, my workout is the 80s workout music, right? That's what I love to, to jam to. It brings me back, especially in times like today. So they used to coat grains, corn, wheat, oats, and mercuric oxide. Now, many of you might not understand why, but I'm going to ask Chantel, is there any reason why you would think back in the 80s, we would coat grain with mercuric oxide. That's mercury oxide. Any, any guesses? My only guess would be to try to, like they would use it as a pesticide so that maybe bugs wouldn't get to it. I don't know. Absolutely brilliant. You are correct. Mercury, we're going to find out, doesn't just kill some things, it kills everything, right? So uh, when you would bury that grain, it would keep fungus from growing on it. Right. That's why we put it in vaccines and use it as a preservative so many times. That's why they use it a preservative in the 80s for eye care solution for your contacts. It kills everything. You're not going to get an infection in your eye, and you're definitely not going to get fungus, molds, insects eating this stuff. You start eating it, it's way stronger than rat poisoning. It's the second most toxic substance on the on earth. So here I am cleaning this stuff up. And what I realized in my journey, and I'm going to show the next slide here. Um, it's not advancing for some reason. 
So I do want that. to encourage people, if you are listening right now, it does make it more powerful if you can also watch it. So I do encourage you to go to this YouTube channel, subscribe and watch it as well. That is a really good point. So if you can, you're listening to this and you could go, what, what's your YouTube channel, Shanta? Waste Away Through Intermittent Fasting. Perfect. I love that topic. And, mm -hmm. um, and I love that you're transforming lives and getting out this powerful message that doesn't even cost you much. Or if anything, it's just a lifestyle switch and it can really transform your life. And then this next slide, what I'm, or image if you're watching, is me. And you're, are you seeing this, Chantel? Yes, absolutely. Perfect. There's there's a, there's a message in a, in a movement here. And the things I'm going to be sharing are shocking and a little bit scary when it comes to uh, toxins in our life. I don't want you to get scared, right? I don't want you to not live your life. What I want you to do is just realize that there's hope. If you're like the guy on the left or the right, or however you're seeing this right now, that's when I first moved home and that was in Christmas. And I've, at this point, I've been to 10 different doctors, 50 different doctor visits. The best they could do for me was effects her and some pain meds because I had fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue. Uh, I was 210 pounds. Uh, you know, I, I never weighed that much even at my, I was also a football player in, in college as well. And so, and the other thing, if you're seeing this slide, I had a, I had a smile on and I looked kind of happy and I had my little shirt on. You could even see it was a brand new Christmas shirt. If you look closely, you'll see the little large on there, right? Or XL at the time. And I had a smile, but it wasn't a real smile. It was a fake smile because I didn't enjoy life. I didn't treat people like they needed to be treated because I was so short and angry and sick. I stopped praying. I couldn't function as a human any longer. I was chemically sensitive. I didn't sleep at night. I wore a, um, to, to still my neck because of the fibromyalgia, I'd wear one of those whiplash, you know, donuts around my neck at night. I, I could only say one prayer in my life. God, heal my body that I may praise your name once again, because I'm a Christian, because I'm freaking pissed. I didn't like where I was at. If I didn't have some higher power, I would off myself. So this is the situation I'm in. And this is the situation I got out of. I lost all my hopes and dreams. I wanted to be married. I wanted a home. I wanted, you know, all those things, a yard and a garden. And I couldn't even garden. The stress of me going to plant flowers when I was at my parents would wipe me out. Wow, that that's being, amazing. This is a, it's a big deal. And there's a lot of people that are suffering. And they don't realize detoxification proper detoxification, not a seven day cleanse, not a colon cleanse, those sorts of things, man. And even when you intermittent fast, that's great, but you're burning fat and that causes toxin release in your body that can cause you to have a toxic rebound effect and put the weight back on. That's another great secret for an audience like this. But the great news is, is that if you can see the picture shredded, healthy, not as healthy as I am now, that's a day after my wedding. That's a day right before we flew to St. Martin and had the most wonderful experience. Met my wife, actually. I won't get into this story. But this would be another topic for us to talk about marriage. I got married um, about a month after meeting my wife and it was a, for no other reason that we just thought it was the right thing to do. So uh, if you thought I was crazy before, um, now you, you really think I am. I hope everyone's laughing at me. Yeah, so, no, I got married when we, my, I dated my husband and we actually broke up and got back together, but we got married. We made the decision when we decided we were getting married, we got married one month later. So you get it <laughs> right. When you know, you know, and this fell on the right, got his life back. And that's really the hope of what we want to share today is I want to share you a message of why detoxification may be the reason you don't, you, not doing proper detoxification. And what we're going to share with you at the end is something that only we've done through physicians um, that we've trained for over 20 years. And now it's going to be something super special. We're going to do for this audience to a very limited amount of uh, group. And so that's why, you know, Chantel uh, is doing this for us today. So before I um, jump into the, the topic today of why detoxification is more important than nutrition. And I'm going to get some great questions from, from folks that are watching live from Chantel as well, but I'm a published scientist and chemist, huge non-toxic advocate. I actually created a new organization called the non-toxic project where I'm certifying products as non-toxic for he from heavy metals and other um, bacteria and analysis to make sure that uh, we override because a lot of things we're consuming today are super toxic and we don't know it. Um, co-founder of many different things and several businesses. But the most important thing is I got my life back. And that's the whole point of today is to take your health and life to the next level. Um, 
Chantel, before I jump into this topic or this podcast, what we're listening to, do you have any questions um, before we move on? No, I think I'm ready to dive in. All right. So major point right now, get out a pen and paper, write down some questions that you can, you can chime back in to Chantel through. I'm sure he has many different ways to, to communicate with, with you and with, with me. Um, and we'll answer questions um, as we go, but you're going to learn a lot today. And my goal is to inspire you so that you can make changes in your life and health. So I want you to write down some takeaways, some inspiration that you're going to have, and it's going to be life-changing for you. I promise. Detoxification is more important than nutrition for weight loss, longevity, immunity, hot topic, and your microbiome. And I want to go through this science today, get some feedback from Chantel, make sure you understand this information, but this is critical to your life. What you're going to learn today could be the answer that you've been looking for for years and years. And that fake smile is going to be no more. You're actually going to, your brain's going to turn back on, your hormones are going to balance because we're going to find out why toxins are so destructive. These notorious toxins. These lying toxins are stealing from your life and you don't even know it. So why I believe detoxification is more important than nutrition for your gut microbiome, and we'll even hit that topic a little bit in here. This is one of my favorite and most powerful slides. The gut microbiota, a major player in the toxicity of environmental pollutants. And what I wanna to read to you is that there's clear evidence that bacteria dependent metabolism of pollutants modulates toxicity for hosts. Don't, don't stay tuned. I know I'm reading science here and that's not, you know, typically what will someone to do, but I'm, I'm here to empower you to do it. And I'm going to explain this to you. Conversely, environmental contaminants from various chemical families have been shown to alter the composition and or metabolic activity of your gut bacteria, your gastrointestinal bacteria, which may be important, important factor in contributing in, uh, to someone's individual microbiotype. Now, why am I sharing this with you? Why is that important? Let me break this down. There's various chemical families, right? There's volatile organic compounds. There's heavy metals like mercury and lead. There's pesticides. There's herbicides. Various chemical families that can come in and alter you the composition and the metabolic activity of your gut microbiota. Who cares? I take an antibiotic. It messes up my gut. What does that mean? Why is that important to me? I'll tell you why. Your individual microbiotype, what I just shared with you, is a fingerprint of your health. If you're missing and you have a certain fingerprint like this, and they've studied this, it's every disease is linked to a microbiotype, someone's individual microbiotype. So if you have this, this kind of fingerprint, I'll put my finger, go back to my video here. If you have this fingerprint, which many of us do, you have diabetes. If you have this fingerprint, you're obese. If you have this finger, fingerprint, you have autoimmune disease. If you have this fingerprint and these bugs and this microbiotype, this map of bugs, this combination, you're an all-star athlete. It is that critical to your health. And what this is saying, and what other research is saying is what, if you have mercury amalgams in your mouth, remember we talked about mercury, it kills everything, that's dribbling, destroying your mouth microbiome, your nasal microbiome, even into your skin and your gut, all that, it's, it's changing it to a gut microbiome, and we'll get into genetics in a bit, it's gonna change it to where you're gonna be set up for diabetes. It could be the very reason you have it because these toxins alter and shape your individual microbiotype and your individual microbiotype 100% dictates your health outcomes. So when I say detoxification is more important than nutrition for your microbiome, this is why I'm saying it and this is why I think it's so critical. Now the opposite's true, here's the hope message. You get rid of the toxins, that are killing and altering your microbiome. You change your lifestyle, you listen to a podcast like Chantel's, your life can change and change radically. And that's why we're sharing this today. Chantel? Well, I think that, you know, people don't even realize how many hidden toxic ingredients are in everything that they're doing. I mean, the artificial colors that are in 
every, all these foods that are there, the artificial sweeteners, even, you know, even the Splenda that that's there, like some of them are just, you know, aspartame, chlorine, all the chlorine that's in things, the conventional dairy products, all the dangerous pharmaceutical ingredients that they're putting into our dairy products, like estradiol, antibiotics, growth hormones, the fluoride in our water, the glyphosate is used in the herbicides and pesticides. I mean, it just, the list goes on and on. And so if you don't have it in the top of your mind, you can kind of get so overwhelmed with everything that's out there and you have to start focusing on, okay, I, if you just are a regular human, you are going to have all of these things coming at you and you have to make sure you are detoxifying. It's a critical missing component and it, and detox, the reason this is different, you know, and what we're learning about detox together today is different is that most detoxes, people think, ah, I just, you know, I'll just uh, stop drinking coffee or I'm going to do a juice cleanse or I'm going to do a cool and cleanse. It, it doesn't fix you at the cellular level. It's not detoxing at the cellular level. I'm going to drink more water, a water fast. I mean, I would say out of all the, the things is intermittent fasting and, and fasting is a great way to move toxins out of your body. But the buildup that we have, there, there needs to be something major to do that. And I'm going to share that secret with you and what got gave me my life back and thousands upon thousands of others through working through physicians. So this is a really cool, inspirational time for me to be able to share with a more public audience that may have may not know this. This is great. That's why I want you to be an advocate afterwards and say, hey, you need to detox right at the cellular level. We got to, you know, coin that phrase a little better. Hey guys, I'm so excited. My new book, One Meal and a Tasting is out now. And if you order the book on Amazon, just the regular paperback edition, if you go in and make a review, you will get the audio book for free. Send a copy of your receipt to questions at ChantelRayway.com and you'll get the audio book right away. So here we are. Let's go into toxins. Why I believe detoxification is more important than nutrition for your immune system. I thought this was very timely because we're, we're, we are we want to strengthen our immune systems, but let's look at this. Environmental toxic, toxicants in the developing immune system, a missing link in the global battle against infectious disease. So environmental toxins is an important aspect for the fight against infectious disease, right? So this is um, a reproductive toxicology journal, April 1st, 2012. So why, why would they write this? Well, what they found in their research is that the immunotoxicology is a study of alterations in immunological mechanisms caused by chemicals and drugs. These alter alterations may result in an increased incidence of infections and or developing tumors. So we always think of toxins and there's tons of research from uh, you know, multiple Berkeley, you name it, EPA, that 90, 95% of all cancer is toxin related, right? And toxin triggered. That's a fact, right? What they're saying here too is in this, in this study is that it's triggering and weakening your immune system. So toxins are immunosuppressive. Let me give you an example. Mercury, when it comes into your body, your body does not like it. That's why they put it in vaccines is because it causes an immune response. It causes a massive cytokine storm in your body. And if you have a mercury amalgam fillings and this, what we're going to share with you later is how to get the sources out of your life. Man, it is critical for to have a strong, robust immune system and as a preparatory thing to decrease your chances of getting cancer. Because if you're toxic and you have a certain amount of toxins in your body, they, they, they've done the study. I'm going to talk about um, a National Geographic kind of small study that they did. And it talks about how the amount, uh, his cancer because of flame retardants in his body increased it by like a thousand percent, right? So this is critical for your longevity and your health. Um, Chantal, would you want to add to that? Yeah, I had two mercury fillings myself and I got them both removed and I felt so much better after I did. I wouldn't say that, you know, let's say if I was at a six, let's say I was at a 7.5 on feeling good mm -hmm. afterwards, it brought me up by like to maybe eight or 8.25. So it wasn't like, it was like, I, I woke up the next day and I was like a new person, but I felt like my, I had to go down on my thyroid medication for me. 
um, because I take a natural desiccated thyroid and I ended up taking, I had to go down on it once I started, once I removed those mercury fillings. So I, I do think that that makes a big difference. Well, and it makes sense that you would come down because mercury mimics at the cell T3 or T4 hormone and blocks that receptor and clogs that receptor. So you can, once you start removing mercury and there's this supply of mercury coming in, you're going to get more hormone sensitive to, to the T3 and T4 in the drug, or as I just get it, thyroid is not really a drug, um, you know, borderline, (laughs) but, um, I've taken it myself when I was sick, um, to help me recruit, get my energy up. As a matter of fact, I was on it in my wedding picture. I got off of it. Uh, because I didn't need it anymore because mm-hmm. I continue to detox. So I'm excited. What we're going to share with you at the end is the same thing Chantel's going to be doing it with you. So this is going to be, this is super hot. This is super hot information. Um, and you just, you know, explained why that would happen. And it's not just mercury, man. I mean, we're talking glyphosate. We're talking all these, these, these notorious toxins that are impacting your life. These bad guys, man, it's, it's no fun, but it is fun when you get them out because you get, you get testimonies like Chantel had. So let's, let's break this down and I'm going to keep moving, but now we're going to talk about this, this ease, right? Toxins are more important nutrition for disease reversal. Here it is. Current studies show that genetic predisposition accounts for approximately 30% of all autoimmune diseases. Uh, not to keep blaming mercury, but it's one of the top three toxins in your body, but it triggers Hashimoto's and things like that. So there's a lot of research on this stuff. So they're just saying that it's your genetic predisposition to get autoimmune disease. Uh, and the rest, the 70% are due to environmental factors. This is right out of a research, um, out of autoimmune disease, 2014. The 70% are due, the other 70% of autoimmune conditions are due to environmental factors, including here it is, toxic chemicals, dietary components, gut dysbiosis. We talked about gut dysbiosis, right? The the disorganization, the destruction of your gut microbiome, gut dysbiosis, an overgrowth of bad bacteria. We could say candida, but there's so much more than that. There's so many unique bugs. You have 10 times the amount of bacteria than you do cells in your body. You weigh more in bacteria. Bacteria are our friends, not our foes. Oh, and let's say, let's do this. You have a hundred times the amount of virus in your body. You're a big sack of bacteria and virus that are working synergistically, turning genes on and off. It is a crazy, complicated system. You take toxins, just like in, in farming, you start spraying toxins, you destroy the environment, you destroy the bugs, the natural microbiota that keeps that soil alive. You create dead soil that relies on an outside in approach to keep that farm moving. You take the, the chemicals away now, there's everything else is dead. This is the same thing with drugs in your body. It can keep you alive. You take them away, you're dead. You don't mm-hmm. thrive. So that's why this topic in the gut microbiome, I keep going back to it. It's just so critical to your health. And the last one, gut dysbiosis and infections. Now let's break this down. We talked about toxins and how it's so important for your gut microbiome. We talked about toxins and being important for for nutrition and fasting. And we talked about immunity. So paint this picture. They're saying that genetic predisposition accounts for 30% of all autoimmune diseases. Do you know that you could have a gene that's set up for an autoimmune condition, but unless you trigger it, you're not going to get that disease of your genetic weakness. Mm. Guess what triggers genes? What? Toxins, <laughs> toxins, trauma, and infections. So now, so it's one of the major causes of triggering genes. Michael J. Fox, Parkinson's disease, right? Mm. His direct quote is, or a similar to quote, is that I had the genetic weakness of Parkinson's, but it was environmental toxins that pulled the trigger. Mm. So this topic of toxins and the true understanding of toxins is so critical to your health and life, vitality, even world change because they're robbing and stealing from us blindly. Mm. And it's sad. So 70% are due to environmental factors. So they're saying environmental factors can trigger autoimmune, including toxic chemicals, diet, things that you talked about, those dietary things and not eating well and too much sugar and uh, Splenda and all these other dietary components, which alter your microbiome, by the way, because your microbiome will thrive and certain bugs will thrive on the right foods that it was designed to eat and to feed them gut dysbiosis, which we know toxins heavily affect 
your gut microbiome and your individual microbiotype, your microbiome fingerprint, and infections. We talked about how toxins weaken your immune system. Do you think you're gonna get more or less infections if you, if you have more or less toxins in your body? Of course, if you have a weakened immune system because you're being exposed to too many toxins, you're gonna to be weaker and trigger that as well. So that's kind of a, a wrap up slide to really show you the importance of true detoxification that we're gonna get into shortly. Back to you. Well, one thing that is so crazy, it was funny because I just got back from Costa Rica and I went for seven days and I felt like a million bucks. And I did a little search on Google and I was thinking, you know, I wonder if it's just that Costa Rica doesn't have as much pesticides that they're spraying because I, I literally was there for eight days and I never felt better. I mean, I was feeling like a million bucks. And I looked up something and it said that Costa Rica was one of the top places that sprayed their food with pesticides and China was number two in, in the sense of how much they were spraying. And I think that, and they had a few organic farms in Costa Rica and in places that didn't have it. But if you think about it, they have these people spraying, I was doing a lot of research on it. They literally have guys that are in plastic suits, head to toe fully and sitting there spraying the food. Imagine that picture of someone head to toe in gear, spraying your food. And that's what you're putting in your body and you have to get rid of it. It's, it's a, it's a perfect picture because we're eating no food and you might as well. And here's the thing. What's scary about when I did hazardous waste cleanup, what I discovered and what put me on this journey. And I didn't believe it at first. Like, ah, oh, that's conspiracy. There's no way the government would allow that. Right. Oh my goodness. I think we're waking up to, we have to take full responsibility for our health. But what I discovered is I'm like, wait a minute. I had this personal protective equipment on the exact mask that matched the chemical. There's a, you just don't wear one mask for one chemical. There's different, you got to match them up. I also have a, a you know, was trained in HAZWAP or trained certified to train uh, people how to be safe and fit testing. So the mask fit perfectly. I mean, I know this stuff in and out, but what I discovered, what drove me nuts is that even though I got sick and I didn't always protect myself when I should, should have and took my mask off during that mercury cleanup, unfortunately, and didn't didn't take this seriously. But the truth is, is your indoor home, the pharmaceuticals you're getting in your water supply, the lead, the fluoride, the you know the uh, heavy metals, the your your couch behind you that's you know bought from IKEA or wherever else is loaded with volatile organic compounds. The carpets in your home, the paints on your walls. That's why the EPA says that your indoor air quality is 100 times more toxic than the outdoor and the worst toxic air pollution that you can find. And we're sitting in these boxes and we're polluting our bodies. And it's what we should be literally wearing masks. When you have four amalgam fillings in your mouth, you exceed the EPA. When you just drink a cup of hot coffee with those amalgams in, you exceed the EPA air quality by like 100 times. It's, it's high enough to poison a, a dang elephant, but it's safe in your mouth. I, I actually went to, I called the Federal Aviation Administration um, dental office because I was doing cleanup in that area and I knew a lab that was out there in Idaho. And so I, I called, the, um, called the dental office and I said, okay, you know, I have this guy who's telling me about this amalgam filling stuff and they're saying it's toxic. He's like, and this is before I knew about safe dentistry or anything like that, that you had to go to the right dentist. You can't go to just any dentist to get amalgams out to make you sick. I know we keep talking about amalgams, but right. that, that was just a, yeah, I was, I was heavy metal poison. So I was down arsenic, mercury. I thought I had Lyme disease. Like I was really down the treadmill of trying to find the cause of why I was sick. And he said, yeah, it, it's hazardous waste. When it comes into my office, I put it, you know, um, I put it into the person's mouth. If I take it out, it's hazardous waste. Again, if I chunk it out, I have to put it in a special container under you know, under water or some chemical to keep the vapors from coming out. And it has to be characterized, um, sent off to a class three landfill and had a T-clip analysis on it, all this stuff. And oh yeah, they measure my wastewater stream coming out of my office. It's like seven to 10 times higher than it should be in mercury. And I'm like, how can this be safe? Oh, it's safe in your mouth. It's only a little bit. Are you kidding me? 
it's hazardous waste when it's before it gets in your mouth, safe in your mouth, and it's hazardous waste out. These are the things I didn't believe. So I had to send off my blood work and urine samples to multiple labs. I didn't trust anyone, but trust me, guys, I've done the homework. This stuff is killing you. And let me get into a topic that, that will really be near and dear to your heart. Why detoxification is more important than nutrition for weight loss and disease reversal. If I didn't have you at hello on the other things, I'll get many of you now because you know, we all want to look good and have energy and feel healthy, but toxic environment and obesity pandemic is the relationship. You bet your butt there is. Listen to this. Obesity is a multifactorial disease, factorial disease resulting from genes. There it is again. You have the agouti gene. If you're missing a certain bacteria, if you have a certain bacteria, I forget the name of it, it can turn the agouti gene off. People can switch their genetic profile because of bacteria. And it's saying it here already, resulting from genes, because your genes get triggered from toxins. Toxins kill your bugs that turn genes on and off as well. And there's another thing called methylation that turns genes on and off, not going there. Environment and behavior interactions and represents the most common metabolic disorder in the Western hemisphere. In fact, its presence has dramatically risen in the last three decades, reaching worldwide epidemic proportions. Hey guys, I really want you to join our Intermittent Fasting and OMAD Facebook group. We're doing tons of giveaways right now for posting your before and after pictures and just for posting a question in there. We're giving away free protein shakes, some digest aid, all kinds of fun stuff. So please join our Intermittent Fasting and OMAD Facebook group. The link is in the show notes. Okay, we have keto. We have intermittent fasting. We have all these tools, influencers, the internet, podcasts, and we're still dying of obesity. Why? I believe it's toxicity and we're passing on toxicity and trigger genes into our progeny, into our, which is our children, and it's destroying our health and life. It's, if, you, if you don't want to detox for yourself, detox for the next generation. Do a detox before you get pregnant. Do it correctly and safely and not anywhere near your pregnancy. I would say six months away. I'm not giving medical advice, but it, I do recommend detoxing, but don't detox when you're pre pregnant or within six months of trying to conceive. But it's that important. Recent cumulative evidence suggests that obesity may represent an adverse health consequence of exposure during the critical developmental windows to environmental chemicals disrupting what? Endocrine function, endocrine system, hormones, thyroid, cortisol, ghrelin, leptin, which is a hormone that tells your brain to burn fat for energy. It's disrupting that. Moreover, exposure to these chemicals seem to play the key role in development of obesity-related metabolic and cardiovascular disease. So when I say, I believe that detoxification is more important than nutrition for weight loss and dis-ease reversal, this is my premise and where I'm coming from, Chantel, and those listening today. Awesome. Any, anything to add there? <laughs> so yeah, that's a lot. I, mean, I think, I think that, you know, if you look at the number of people, even who are on some sort of medication, whether like the number of people that are on thyroid medicine and stuff like that, and they're people who are trying so hard to eat, you know, fruits and vegetables, they're trying to eat so well. They're trying to do the right thing. They're trying to, I, I wish I could find this video. You've, you've got to see it, but it's this video of, I watched this, this farm and you, all you see is mile after mile, you see fields there have banana trees and this kind of trees. There's no wildlife in sight, none. And all you see are farmers that are covered in hooded spray suits because they need to protect them from all the harmful chemicals that are sprayed. Like when you watch this video, it's so powerful. And so what you're saying is, listen, in your mind, you're trying so hard, right? Eating kale and bananas and fruits and vegetables, whatever it is. But meanwhile, you're looking at how much pesticides and stuff is coming on your food. So yes, eating healthy and he eating organic and eating this way is, is good, but you've got to get those toxins out. You've got to remove the source. We've got to start thinking about it and we got to do it at the cellular level. And, and, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip ahead a little bit because I know we want to keep this, this true and concise. I'm going to go through a couple more side slides, but just to show you, even when you, with our children, here's CNN, right? How to avoid toxic metals in your baby food and yours. And then I'm going to do uh, another one with Natural Geographic yet. But up in this, in this study, up um, by reports, 
95% of baby food contained one or more toxic heavy metals, including lead, arsenic, cadmium, and mercury. So we're talking about the obesity pandemic, right? And we're saying, hey, toxins trigger the genes and you can pass. And they've done studies where they, the mouse study, I don't know if you ever heard, saw that study where they trigger the uh, agouti gene um, with toxins. And then the mom got, the, the mom mouse got really, really chunky and obese. And then it passed it on to the progeny. And then they use methylation to trigger the uh, agouti gene or the mouse gene back off. She lost weight, had more kids. The, the baby mice didn't have the, uh, the triggered gene. But it's so critical, guys. And, and what's sad about this is that the levels of lead, and this is why I have the non-toxic project, is to not allow this to happen anymore. But some of the lead level in some of this food is so high and they're not testing it. Um, California is saying Prop 65, there might be a Prop 6, there should be a Prop 65 warning on the baby food, right? I mean, it's nuts, but the levels are so high that you can have a chronic exposure and acute exposure to a heavy metal in, in food. And even in kale, they found lead in organic kale. So there's no avoiding this stuff is the point. And the levels of lead were so high in some of these that it would cause an immediate neurological effect to that child. These, these toxins, many of them are neurotoxins. They affect the neural tissue. They drive you nuts. Uh, you've heard of Mad Hatter's disease. They used to put mercury in the felt hats. It made you mad as a hatter, right? Um, there's some stories around that because it just makes you sick. And we're going to talk about Rome in a second too, where the whole nation of Rome, the most powerful nation in the world, experts believe um, fell apart because of their, they put, start putting lead in the aqueducts, lead sheets to, for the water supply, that this new invention like glyphosate, we're going to change and be able to save our water so it doesn't evaporate and leak out everywhere. They put the lead, the lead, lead line, their aqueducts, which is a water supply in their cities and the whole nation and, and in their wine vats and the nation disappeared. And they believe that was why the, the country just went nuts and imploded. Mm. Yeah, I haven't heard, I didn't hear about that story, but yeah, I think that lead in drinking water, I mean, I've heard so many yeah, stories. Flint, about Flint, Michigan, right? I mean, yes. I, can, I have a slide on that. Like, but here's the reality. Um, my internet's unstable. I hope it's, I hope it's good enough and we're still recording. Are you still hearing me, everybody? Yes. Okay, great. So moving on, um, this uh, scientist, uh, no, Swedish chemist, is on the, on, uh, let me just get to the point. So National Geographic, this uh, journalist said, hey, I want to, National Geographic, will you pay $15,000 to do this super expensive test to see how much toxins are in our body? And I'll write an article about it. They said, oh yeah, that's good. That's good, good marketing. That's a good topic. Let's do that. So this guy did. He said, um, he's a, a writer engaged in a chemi chemical self-discovery. Last fall, he tested himself for 320 chemicals. I, he might've picked up from food, drink, things we're talking about, the air they breathe, the products that touch my skin, my own secret stash of compounds acquired by merely living. That's us guys, right? There's no better than a writer to explain. It includes older chemicals that he might have been exposed to decades ago, DDT, PCBs, pollutants like lead, mercury, and dioxins, newer pesticides, and plastic ingredients in the near miraculous compounds that lurk just, just beneath the surface of modern life, making shampoos fragrant, pans nonstick, fiber it's water resistant, and fire safe, safe. He asked National Geographic, they paid for it, it was 15 grand, and he went through and they detected all these chemicals in his body, right? Just by merely living. All this fancy stuff that we think that makes our life better is actually killing us, guys. That's the whole point of this. And they found uh, levels of flame retardants in this guy that were like, I think, don't quote me on this, but a hundred times higher than someone who works in a manufacturing facility that makes flame retardants. You know why? Because she's, she or he is wearing a mask and the proper protective equipment. So they're not getting exposed. He was like 50 to a hundred times higher. So the scientists are asking like, what do you do for a living? I do this. And you do travel a lot. He's like, yeah, I travel. I'm a journalist. Oh, that's why, because every time you go on a plane, the plane has to put flame retardants, you know, weekly, monthly to, to pass an OSHA, you know, flame retardant test. So if, the, if for some reason something sparks, the plane doesn't go up. But did you know that flying gives you more exposure to flame retardants than someone who works in a manufacturing facility making flame retardants? We should be wearing masks in wow. planes for flame retardants. So that really brings it all together. We can't avoid this stuff. We can't afford $15,000 in testing 
to find it's there. It's in you guys. Toxins are in you. And then here's the Rome uh, from Rome to America, how toxic heavy metals destroyed a civilization. I've already talked about that. Back to you, Chantel. Hey guys, I'd love for you guys to listen to a podcast that we did about the side effects from wine and the differences between natural wine and traditional wine. So go to ChantelRayway.com slash wine and you'll see transcripts, you'll see some different episodes, but here's the thing. You can get your penny bottle now of dry farm wines and make the decision that if you're gonna have wine, to make sure you have the most natural, healthy wine in the world with no added additives, only natural ingredients. All the other wines out there have so much sulfate, so much sugar. Why put that poison in your body? So get your penny bottle now at ChantelRayWay.com slash wine. Well, let's get down to the solution because I think yeah. you've convinced us now that we do have all these toxins. So what do we need to do to cleanse and detox from them? Okay, let's go there. Uh, let me go to the, the slide that would help explain that. Here's a glyphosate slide. I'll, I'll share that and we'll go right to it. There's a new problem for recent new generation glyphosate and dementia, right? Just destroying lives. Stephanie Semeth, MIT. Given you the reason I'm doing this, Chantel, and it's not the typical, uh, you know, back and forth with a health influencer. And I'm not saying I have all the answers. All I'm doing is presenting to you a real problem that most people aren't awake to. And you're getting slick marketing from all different angles on a detox or the seven day detox or, you know, the 14 day cleanse. But what we're going to discover um, in this solution is that it takes time and you have to do it correctly and safely. You're going to have to learn. And that's called true cellular detox. And there's a roadmap for it that I'm going to show you on this slide really explains how toxins um, are causing these symptoms in our lives. And I think it's really important um, to understand this, to understand the, the premise of it. We have, we have a trillion cells, like little buckets, right, in our bodies. And toxins and traumas and infections fill up over time as we live, merely live our lives. And that triggers inflammation. Inflammation is the cause of all disease, according to Time Magazine and, you know, everyone out there. It's an inflammatory response in your body. And that inflammation causes the symptoms that we have digestion, weight loss, resistance, dizziness, you know, fatigue, brain fog, you name it, right? Hormone dysregulation. So we have to address toxins that's overflowing that bucket, right? Causing an inflammatory response, causing these symptoms in your life. So the opposite is true. You lower that bucket, you lower your inflammation in your body. And that's why you start to feel better, right? Hormones start working better, things like that. So toxins attached to the cell membrane, uh, your, your cells are made up of this lipid bilayer of fats. The toxins can come in and there's little receptors for uh, thyroid hormone on every cell in your body. If the toxin comes in, it can blunt that. Toxins can also come in and just attach to the fatty layer of the cell. They're fat loving and they cause inflammation at the cell. And then good stuff like nutrients, detoxification is more important than nutrition for your, for your energy, then those, that nutrients can't get in. And worse, the mitochondria, the powerhouses of your cell, and this is where intermittent fasting helps, right? It helps you get healthy cells. It causes autophagy so you can produce healthy cells. But these toxins are causing toxic cells where the, even when you burn and create energy, the bad stuff can't come out of your cells. So how do we know that we're toxic? There's two tests you can do, a visual contrast sensitivity. Quickly, what that does is it checks for um, not your ability to see, but your ability to see contrast because toxins destroy neuro tissue and that affects oxygen flow, uh, oxygen flow across the retinal nerve, which affects your ability to see contrast. Remember the old, you know, TV and you're moving your contrast so you can see better. And if it goes all white, the contrast is low. You can't see. That's what this test does. Very accurate. Dr. Richie Shoemaker, and then also a meta oxy test, which will test for inflammation. And the reason I share this and what we're going to do in the solution, you don't have to pay 15 grand to find out that you're toxic. Here's a simple um, and easy way that you'll be able to do it. So your and I've done the meta oxy test. Oh, you have done the meta oxy. Yes, I have, and I'm on the like the highest pink. So, so you're toxic. Congratulations. <laughs> Um, so is everyone. So am I still, and I've been detoxing forever. So this is not, this is a hope message because when you still start removing those toxins, doing things like you're doing Chantel and many of you, you're on the right path. You're intermittent fasting. You're doing great things. I just want to give you one of the big hammers that could be holding you back 
um, from the goals that you have in life, whether it's weight loss, energy to be a better parent, um, look sexy or whatever it may be, you know, I'm, I'm here for you. We're trying to give this to you, this information so it can take your life and mind and business and marriage. It, it's so critical. When I was sick, I had no business being in a relationship. I was mean. I was sick. My breath stunk. I mean, it was bad news, Betty. Um, I, so here it is. Your bucket is overflowing. All of us. 98% of these heavy metal detox is not effective. The herbal cleanses, not true binders, citrus pectin, glutathione protects the cell and the brain, but it's not a, um, a true detoxification agent. Zeolites, a lot of them are contaminated. We have two patents on ones we cleaned up. You can take DMSA, DMPS, these chemicals that you can put in your body, but you need to work with a functional medicine practitioner for that. So it, it, it became complicated. And we're like, man, we've been doing this for 20 years. Let's create a solution that moves the needle in people's life. So when they do this, it's gonna impact their life in a, in a major way. So we discussed and created for practitioners. And now what we're gonna do with you, and I'm gonna go to the website here on the next slide. I'm just gonna literally, you're gonna, you can click below and go there. And I'm gonna show you in this video, we created the True Cellular Detox Roadmap, where a lot of the problems that we saw in the slides before, this roadmap is the solutions, where you remove the source of toxins. We teach you how to do that, like with water and air, and detoxifying your body and removing the source and cause, right? We regenerate that cell membrane that's so critical to your health and your skin and your longevity and allowing nutrients and bad stuff to flow out of that cell membrane, hormones to attach and do their job, restore the cellular energy, reduce that cellular inflammation and reestablish the methylation in your body. I won't get into a methylation talk when you click below or in this link or wherever it's at on, on the page or on the podcast page, you'll be able to get more information on the next page of what all this means. But you want to open up your detox pathways before you start detoxing. You don't want to, you know, try to drain something that's all clogged, right? If you have a clogged drain, you're not going to be able to clean it out. So you want to open up those detoxification pathways and you want to use true binders, Chantel, not these. I mean, I, I studied binders, you know, in, in uh, my master's work and plants do bind, but they're weak, right? Clays bind, but they're weak. They're not a true detoxifier. They can stir things up. Cilantro, you know, that's the magic cilantro juice that can make you sick. It has a sulfahedral group in it, which can stir things up, but it's not a true binder. And then that's the roadmap. And then the phases, you want to prepare the body, you prep, then you do a body phase and a brain phase, get the toxins out of the hypothalamus pituitary in your brain, the neuro tissue, hypothalamus pituitary are the, uh, chief endocrine organs in your body that regulate all your other downstream hormones. That's, I mean, again, I, I don't want to, I'll just take you to the page. You can click to learn more below, but the bottom line is this roadmap and what we've developed. Um, let me go to the, the page real fast. I'll tell is, you that what it reminds me of is my husband's sink is always clogged because he shaves and I feel like the, sh the hair on his face always gets clogged. And so we're always trying to find something to to declog the sink. And so we tried all these different products, Drano and this one and that one. And there was a two part system that we found. I don't even remember what brand it was. And we finally used that. And the girl that cleans our house is like, yay, we finally did it. We unclogged the drain. So I feel like this is what you're saying is like, there's other things that are kind of binders that'll kind of help you know, unclog it, but this is the, the one that really will get it going through. Yeah. We support your liver, your kidneys, your detox organs, the, the drainage, your lymphatic, right. The drainage in your gut, right. To, to get the drainage going. I mean, if you're going to, if you keep shaving in a clogged sink, it's just going to get clogged more. And that's really where we're at as a, as a nation, as an individual, we're clogged, we're sick. And, you know, it, we need a real answer and it's not going to happen in seven days. It's not going to happen in 14 days. It's not even going to happen in 30 days. I think to see any type of movement that we found by training physicians for so many years when we developed this program, um, and literally we have a million dollars into developing this program, the portal, it's, it's super high end, right? It's usually five to $6,000. If you go to a practitioner, they walk you through the same stuff that what we're doing with Chantel and five other influencers will sell out. But we're, we're eliminating all that cost, only going to um, 
only you're gonna invest in is the supplements and the testing that we talked about. Everything else, this million dollar portal and training and uh, health coaches and forums to ask questions and education on weight loss. There's intermittent fasting, ketosis, there's emotional detox, there's a 90 day meal plan. We're gonna talk all about that. Usually that would be a five to $6,000 program in an office. We're doing it for 997 um, and we have a PayPal, same as cash, but it's something that's gonna move the needle. I say, don't go do something for 70 bucks and have it not move the needle. Save up and do this, the next challenge or this one. Um, use PayPal, same as cash for six months. You know, do something like that. Let me show you when you click below or in the link or in the show notes, you're gonna see this video and this will explain how this will empower your immune system and weight loss. And there's testimonies of how people lost weight. And again, I can't promise you're gonna have, you know, some amazing outcome, but what I can promise when you do something that really works and science-based, it's gonna get you to a place where you feel something. A little bit thinner, a little bit more energy, a little more focus. It will create a, a, a noticeable change in your life. Some people will see dramatic changes based on the testimonies that we've been provided. So to learn more, here's a great video on what True Cellular Detox is. Here's the roadmap. Um, there's videos on the supplements. We have practitioners that train you and coach you along the way in this portal. It's amazing. We actually hired an adult learning strategist the government uses to make sure. So this isn't just something we threw together and said, hey, we wanna do this and put it online and you know, maybe some people will buy it. We have the intention of transforming lives. That is the point of this. Uh, shows you everything you get, 20 hours of detox training, hundreds of recipes, meal plans, 90 days, not 30 days, all the supplements, prep body and brain phase, the patent pending, two patent pending on the clean zeolite molecules that are true binders. These supplements are only sold through physicians. These are high end, super highly tested. Um, we have extra bonus things um, in webinars with Dr. Nicole Avina from the Mount Sinai on you know the, the psychology of eating, Pedram on the microbiome, Laura Adler, and I mean, she, she hates toxins so much. She'll say, change your, change your tooth floss because there's chemicals on that tooth floss that are making you sick. We talk about Ryan Sternagel, making your home safe. My green fills, uh, Stephen Azell, same thing. And some other experts, all this stuff. Typically when we do this, it's three grand, even just for the portal without a health coach, right? Six grand, five, six grand with a practitioner that meets with you three times. We have a health coach that walks all of you through this, does live webinars with you, and we just just covering our costs. And it's to help move the needle. It's to help move the needle in your life. We, all we ask is give us feedback, help us become better while we're helping you to become better. And I'm gonna read this testimony, um, Chantal, and you can wrap up because I always get this question. And I love this, this quote, um, this story from Michael, unsolicited, right? He was a healthy dude. So I'm healthy, I shouldn't detox, really? You might, after I read this, I think that it'll change your mind. True Sailor just detox. This is Michael, um, unsolicited after he did this detox program for 90 days with us. True Sailor Detox was one of the best decisions of the year. Detox, and, detox isn't just for the ailing and unwell. In my case, I started out feeling great. This guy's a semi biohacker, if you know what that is, and went to an entirely new level of high performance and personal transformation. If you think you have what you need for the journey before you, step into the world of true cellular detox and you may find that life has even more room and magic than you ever imagined I did. Before detox, he's been running marathons. This guy's healthy. He had casual biohacking for a couple of years, helped develop bleeding edge, high technology, helping bring Microsoft holographic computing platforms and HoloLens research. I mean, this guy is a dang genius, right? Smart, international space station. I have an amazing wife and two children under five. Why detox? Curious. I wanted to experiment what happened if I applied all my faculties to truly living the healthiest and fullest and most present life I could. What might it be like? Does this experience of life plateau, does it expand for, further? He did lab work prior to and after. He picked three areas he was interested in making progress, hormones, metals, and metabolism. He picked goals. And three months later, he knocked it out of the park. A healthy guy experienced life transformation. It appears that things went better in other areas of his life. He got a promotion. More importantly, he got a much greater sense of connection and camaraderie with his wife and children. If it wasn't enough, even stranger, perhaps even extraordinary things happened. I started to collaborate on projects with my favorite authors, business leaders, and heroes. And curiously, I started to discover more time and space in my life. I went from reading books to a month to about six. I had more spiritual growth and contemplation, all from detox. Strange, isn't it? 
I say no, because that's my story, but I was sick. I didn't have testosterone, so I wouldn't pursue a wife. I was a train wreck emotionally, so I was treating people mis, you know, poorly. When you detox, things change. When your testosterone starts rising, especially women, you get a little bit of toxicity. You don't have as much T as men. And so you get more passive. You're like, I'm not going to call that person. You don't have energy. I'm not going to read that book. You know, this is why it's so transformative. Even if you feel healthy, the lights in your life have been dimmed down by toxins. You slowly lost it. This guy was a genius pushing through life. Like moms, you're pushing through life. But the lights have been dimmed in your life. Detoxification, this is why I did it. It's for guys like Michael, for people like you, because it transformed my life. Chantel, thank you um, for this opportunity. This was amazing. And I'm going to be doing this detox myself personally. So I'm going to be doing it with you. So I'd love for you guys to join me. We can do it together and it's going to be amazing. So guys, if you want to right now, go to ChantelRayWay.com slash detox. That's ChantelRayWay.com slash detox. And you can see my link or go in the show notes and we'll have it there. This was wonderful. Thanks for being with us. And you guys stay tuned. We'll have another episode coming up in just a few. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye, everybody.